Kylie Jenner is a reality TV star and business entrepreneur who sold 51% of her stock in Kylie Cosmetics to publicly traded company Coty Inc. in January of 2019 for a cool $600 million. By March 2019, she appeared on Forbes Billionaires list at the age of only 21. I think I struggled for a minute with finding something to do on my own and what was I gonna do? I knew I was passionate about makeup, but I didn't know I could have fun every day doing my job. I'm Kylie Jenner and I am the founder of Kylie Cosmetics. Last year, Kylie Cosmetics brought in over $200 million in revenue. The brand was built on the back of Kylie's social media following that reaches more than 196 million people. If you've heard the news that keeping up with the Kardashians is coming to an end, don't worry yourself too much about Kylie. Despite her show wrapping up and selling a controlling share of her company, she's still in charge of all creative efforts and marketing for Kylie Cosmetics, which keeps her flush with enough cash to afford not only only pricey luxuries like a collection of rare Hermes handbags. My favorite row definitely would have to be the Hermes row and I have been collecting these bags for a minute. They're also a great investment. But also an impressive fleet of luxury cars. At only 22 years old, you might not think that Kylie has had enough time to stockpile an extensive collection of top-notch cars, but you'd be wrong. In fact, the overall value of her collection is rumored to be worth as much as $14 million total. We're talking whips like a Rolls-Royce Wraith, a Ferrari 458 Italia, even a 2019 Bugatti Chiron. And guys, that's just a start. Kylie's collection is the stuff that car lovers' dreams are made of and would put a whole lot of other collectors to shame. She's spent so much money on cars, she's even drawn some heat for flaunting her wealth so often. For instance, that Bugatti clip I just ran, she deleted that after facing a lot of fan backlash. But as far as I'm concerned, Kylie works hard for her money, so if she wants to spend it on nice things, I'm not gonna blame her. In fact, I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna take you on a tour of her unbelievable garage. Hey guys, it's Kara, here for you with a brand new car tour, this one taking a look at the jaw-dropping collection of Kylie Jenner. You guys requested this one and I can see why. Seriously guys, I think she's got more wheels than a whole bunch of rappers I've already done videos for, so just wait till you get a load of some of these beauties. If you like this video, we've also done car tours and likes of Paris Hilton and Rick Ross and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and let me know whose garage you want to see next. Alright, let's get into this video. Let's kick things off by taking a closer look at that Bugatti Chiron. Kylie picked hers up fresh off her split with Travis Scott last year. This beauty can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds and features a top speed of 261 miles per hour. And while I don't think it's very cool or fair that people bullied Kylie into taking her video down off social media, even I have to admit that the $3 million price tag on this bad boy is kind of sickening. But hey, if you can afford it, flaunt it. From Kylie's most expensive car, let's flash all the way back to her OG. This is the first car that I ever bought. It's the big Range Rover autobiography extended version. The first car that Kylie ever bought is one that she still owns and it's this Land Rover Range Rover. Current models of this car generally retail for around 150k but Kylie's features some customizations like a white carbon fiber wrap and huge Forgiato wheels. Customization is not anything new to Kylie. In fact she often wraps and rewraps her cars to keep them looking fresh which can set her back as much as 10k per vehicle. And hey considering most people's starter cars are usually something like a Honda Civic or a minivan, I gotta say that a Land Rover is a pretty cool place to start. What's even crazier is that she's only gone up from there. From her Land Rover, Kylie graduated over to this Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG, which was reportedly a breakup gift from her to herself after she split with Tyga in 2017. Often referred to as a G-Wagon, Kylie has claimed that this brand of car is her favorite because it makes her feel cool. Kylie's G-Wagon features red leather inserts with diamond stitching on the seats and door panels. In 2018, she rewrapped her car in bright orange to match her Lamborghini Aventador for, as her Instagram put it, the summer. Alright, since I brought it up, let's take a look at Kylie's Lambo next, her Lamborghini Aventador. Kylie reportedly picked this car up for around 400 k And as I already teased, instead of choosing a drab color for this lightning fast whip, Kylie decided to go bright orange, which actually complements the look of this car quite nicely. This vehicle features a 6.5 liter V12 engine and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 2.9 seconds. 
Despite being a huge fan of G-Wagons and Lambos, Kylie's also super into her Ferraris. In fact, she's got at least three of them. She's got a teal blue Ferrari 458 Italia Spider, which retails for around $270,000. She received this dream car as a gift and eventually got it rewrapped in all white. This has always been my dream car and I would literally dream about driving in a Ferrari. I got it as a gift on my birthday. Then she ended up pairing that vehicle with a 488 Ferrari Spider, which retails for even more, right around 300K. Kylie apparently originally bought her 488 Spider at the same time that her older sister Kendall got a matching one back in 2016. The two sisters then had them painted over in a chic metallic hue by West Coast Customs. But as nice as those two Ferraris are, neither can match the crown jewel in her collection, her LaFerrari. This ultra rare car retails for as much as $1.4 million, and Kylie received hers as a push present from her baby daddy, Travis Scott, after the birth of their daughter, Stormy. This car is so rare, it's said that there are only 210 of them in the entire world. There's reportedly even a checklist you have to complete in order to qualify to buy one, like already owning at least five Ferraris just to be considered. From one gift to another, let's take a look at Kylie's Maybach next. Hey. Happy birthday. Stop. Hey. Happy birthday to you. This whip was a present from Tyga for Kylie's 19th birthday back in 2016, when these two were still hot and heavy. Their relationship may not have lasted, but hey, at least she'll always have the Maybach to remember him by. Finally, I'm gonna show you guys Kylie's Rolls Royce collection. To start with, she's got this awesome white vintage Royce, which was a gift from Travis on Kylie's 21st, and resells for around 80k. In December of 2018, Kylie bought herself this beautiful Rolls Royce Wraith, which she then showed off with its custom-made ice blue finish and her accompanying nameplates. At the time, she called this $300,000 vehicle her dream car, but to be honest, she said that about a lot of her cars. Over the years, she's had this car rewrapped a few times. It's been seen with a maroon style wrap like this, as well as black and even taupe. Recently, Kylie even picked herself up a new Rolls Royce Cullinan and got it detailed in a fashion you've just got to see to believe. All pink. Thank you, Rose. Kylie's calling this stunner her mom car, and I couldn't possibly be here more for it. It's just so damn cute. All right, guys, I think that's gonna bring us to the end of our look at Kylie Jenner's car collection. What did you guys think of all her wheels? Which is your favorite? Owning a $3 million Bugatti immediately elevates someone to straight up baller status, no doubt about it, but I'd really like to take a closer look at that classic Rolls Royce. You just know she's always turning heads wherever she heads out on the town in that thing. Of course, Kylie's pretty used to doing that no matter what she's driving. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep the conversation going, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!